Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about the holier than thou player. And this is a type of magic player I see sometimes pretty often. Uh, this type of magic player is the one who thinks that he knows more than you, has a better collection than you do, and is like an expert in this game, and always been playing the game longer than you, or uh, you know, what? And EDH, this is the player who, uh, this is the prime example, and again, that's why I'm making this video. It's, if you try, if you kill me, I'm gonna hard target you the rest of the game. Like, wh what? Like, are we here to have fun? So you guys all know that player, right? The player that, if you're in six player EDH, and they're playing something to combo off, and you have the counter spell, and they tell you, hey, if you play that counter spell, I'm gonna like hit you for the rest of your life. That's an exaggeration, but you guys kind of get the picture. And it's the same player who says, oh, well, you know, I know all my values, and they're trade sharking like little kids. And it's the same player who, so when you look at it, um, the people who are most likely to say that they're good traders are pretty much trade sharks, um, because just like, uh, I was reading a Gawker, um, anyway, article where uh, the guy on TLC with like 19 kids and coming, and he made a Madison, Ashley Madison account, which is a cheating website. And then he's preaching against gay ma marriage. He's preaching um, very, you know, funda like very Christian fundamentals. And then he gets caught, you know, having this affair account. I don't know too much about it. But then there was a YouTuber who did it, and I left a comment on that. And you know, he pretty much staged a fake pregnancy test to surprise his wife, and that had like 14, 15 million views. And he also created, and the channel was very like, a, it was a very family friendly channel. And he also created this, you know, there was a video previous where he taught, taught like his son or daughter that, you know, gay marriage is not correct. And he took a I'm holier than thou approach to his channel. And he has a lot of subscribers and not his own TLC show, but I'm sure like if he wanted to, they would have given it to him. He's a full time YouTuber. And then he was also on this Ashley Madison site of cheaters and stuff. And it's and a paid account. These are paid accounts, by the way. And you get a refund if a affair doesn't happen. So I'm assuming it's some type of um, prostitution where like, the affair must happen, so someone is sent to you or something. I don't know. I don't know too much about it, but uh, I, when I read the article, I kept thinking about this one player in my locals. Not because he would have an account or anything, but because he, he's like, oh, I'm the best trader. I'm the most friendly trader. I'm, you know, you can trust me. And then he just sharks all these kids, and he's like, dude, like what, what's going on, right? I'm a family man, and it's like. <laughs> It's like, what's going on? Or like, I think I caught him cheating once. Um, and the reason, this was the same dude, we were at the M, the group one M14 pre-release. I was playing him again. So I saw his deck two times. One time when he beat me at, you know, before the top eight, and then one time during the top eight. He had seven on color, uh, two of them were mythics, five of them were, it's a green black deck. He had a Nightmare, he had a Garouk, he had like um, lots and lots of big green fatty rares. And then like I killed a bomb, I was like, oh man, I took two cards or four cards to kill that bomb. But it looks like I can aggro him out. And then another bomb comes out, and then another bomb, and there's another bomb. And um, he, he definitely took the holier than thou approach that like, oh, well, you know, I hate cheaters, I hate all this stuff. And um, yeah, <laughs> it really reminded me of him because I was like, dude, you have seven, can I see your deck? And then he didn't show me his deck. So whenever I'm making a deck, um, I make it in front of people um, because that kind of takes away from that. And I actually make it in front of my friend because my friend doesn't do pre-release, but he always like wants to see like what's going on. And yeah, but I don't get like, I don't get it. Like I really don't get it where you have magic players who are taking this attitude that they are either cooler, more popular, and you know, oh, I'm the coolest kid in my school. Why would you need to say that? Like, what does that do, like, for you? Like, why would you need to say that Friday Night Magic? Like, I'm assuming that we're all nerds or geeks. Um, we play Magic the Gathering and we enjoy it enough to be there Friday. So the holier than thou Magic player is kind of annoying. Um, 
I can think of some pros. I'm not going to blast them because they are pros and they could probably like retaliate against me. But I'm sure that you guys leave a comment below about what professional Magic players uh, who say one thing but then they do something else or they feel like they are the ethical commu uh, ethical committee for Magic. Unofficial, no one made them the ethical committee but they are there to say, hey, you over there who's, who's trying to change your life, um, you raped someone in the past, we're going to ban you forever, we're going to shun you forever. Or um, whether or not you feel like that's a correct decision, the process that, hap the process that happened to ban the dude uh, was a, another professional Magic player put out a tweet. And that's the process. And Winsicoe said, okay, yeah, we agree. We agree. And that was that. But he's been playing. He was playing Magic for like the last like seven years or something. Like, um, so regardless of whether or not you believe he should be banned or should not be banned, the process that he was banned, the process to make him banned, was a little iffy. I think we can all kind of agree on that. If you don't agree, that leave a comment below. Anyways, um, I wanted to talk about this issue because it was really like when I looked. I mean, the Madison, Ashley Madison thing is blowing up right now. Um, it just reminds people that normally um, when a person is taking a lot of effort to portray a certain I'm holier than you are uh, attitude, they might not be holier than you. They might be actually a lot dirtier than you are. They just are doing it to protect themselves. You can think of so many people who do that. Uh, but in Magic Gathering, it also happens, right? Anyway, bye guys.